Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Knights of the Old Republic Star Wars. Haha. -ha. Anyway, I forgot to mention in the last video, but about halfway through, I knew I was forgetting something. Um, halfway through, right, I put in basically a new VOD, essentially, edited it in to connect to the first one. And I noticed while editing that for whatever reason, the, like, a solid, like, inch of the border is, like, gone. Like, it's like I somehow changed the resolution and made it big so that it kind of cuts off, like, a like a quarter of the map or, like, three quarters of the map and the, like, you know, little, like, buttons at the bottom, right? Like, essentially anything around, like, the border of the screen is, like, cut in half. <laughs> I have no idea how that happened. I have a vague recollection that somebody eventually told me about it while streaming and I fixed it, but I could be wrong. At this point, I've edited two more videos into the future and it's still like that, so <laughs> we'll see. It doesn't really impede anything. It is just kind of odd and it's like, it's a little, you know, it's something I'd, I would rather have not had to have in there, but that's, that's the... That's the risk, I guess, of live streaming and changing your setup several times because uh, you never know what's going to happen and you can't see it when you're streaming necessarily. Somebody else has to tell you. So anyway, I apologize for that. I hope it's not too egregious um, and, that you know, we still can have a good time, I guess. But anyway, <laughs> um, obviously when I was playing it, there was nothing wrong, like on my screen. I, w I would have been like, yo, I can't see anything. So, yeah. Well, hopefully I'll get it fixed in the next little bit, but thank you all for putting up with that. And let's hop into the episode in about 0.5 seconds! Please don't freak out, game. It's okay. He hello? I have to give you credit. You've led me on quite a chase. But nobody gets away from Kalo Nord in the end. You got lucky on Terrace. The Sith attack saved you from Wait. a gruesome death. Uh... The Sith won't be getting in my way this time. Uh... <laughs> uh... Who... Who's this guy? Was he like a bounty hunter that was after me? I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Rain Rain is telling me to throw everything I have at him, and what Rain doesn't know is that I don't actually have anything. Uh, maybe we can work out a deal? Sorry, I'm not in the credit. You're the only ones who've ever gotten away from me. I've got a rep to protect. Let's go, boys. Showtime. Uh... Uh... <laughs> We're gonna die. I shouldn't have brought mission. <laughs> yeah, I don't have any. Here, I guess I'll take one of these. Uh... Well. Let's see if this works. The, the the baby teddy bears are Ewoks, yes. Crap. Well, here we go. Okay, let's do it again. Okay. What does a uh what does a battle stimulant do? Here. Have another, have one as well. Yeah, here, have one of those. Um. Mission. She's got a heavy combat thingy equip. Here, have an energy shield. Have a, have another, have one of those. Um, 
She's already got shields equipped. I can make her dual wield. I don't know. Will she... Oh, I have to... No? Oh, okay. Here. No. Yes. No. Hmm. My guess is it stimulates battles? Uh, yeah. Yeah, fill all the equipment slots. I don't have anything for that. I don't have anything for that. Me? I, don't, I need a shield. Mandalorian melee shield? Sure. She can't have... Oh, she could have... She could dual wield? A pistol? Wait. Hang on. Let's try to give her... Yes. And then... Because so that, that's her main hand. Nope, not the disruptor pistol. Yeah, there we go. That'll work. So we don't have any minuses but to hit type thing. Because, like, before when I gave her the assassin pistol in this hand, it did less damage and it had a minus one to hit. So I put the assassin pistol over here where it's got, like, a plus seven and, and a three to six damage. And this one is a plus to hit. So that's nice. Okay. And that, whatever that does. I don't know. What does it do? Damage resistance versus sonic Yeah, well, that's not gonna actually be really anything, but it does some does a little bit. The first you remember the first time you tried dual wielding two lightsabers, and now every time you play dual wield, maybe I should make. I don't think I think actually, let me see. So right now she doesn't have the same proficiency I have. I think in dual blading. But I could see if she will... Okay. That might actually be better. If she dual wields. Instead of having a double bladed lightsaber. Does she... What? She's only wearing clothing. The Dark Jedi robe is a little bit better, so I'm gonna make her wear the Dark Jedi robe. Boop, 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 boop. We're screwed, we're screwed. Did we already activate those thingy-majiggies on us? I think we did. Maybe we didn't. Oh, do I have to activate the shield first? I think I have to, I think I have to activate the shield. Activate the shields. What? Perfect, okay. And now we give each other, or we, we take our battle stimulants. Sure, strength, why not? It's fine. We'll be fine! Oh wait, no, I didn't give it- dang it, I gave it to the wrong person. It's cool, I'm gonna die. Ouch! Ouch! Ow! Oops. Please heal me faster. I'm gonna die. I'm I died. Huh. <sighs> Yeah. 
because that means we're gonna have to go back pretty far. Seventeen hours, eight minutes. Whoa. There aren't enough pink Jedi. I agree. We need to actually go back and not bring we need to bring our Mandalorian friend. Mission is not going to cut it. I don't think any of us are going to cut it, honestly. Can I get anything out of the box? No. Leave me alone. Get items. Give me items. Okay. Dang it. Flabby? Flabby would be nice. Okay, yeah, we'll go to the store. Good idea. I'm stuck. Yeah, why, why am I stuck? We just need to get back. We need to get back to the main area, and then I'll re-equip and everything. Nice. She knocked it. Stu she knocked it prone. That was very good. Very, very good. No, I just for some reason have the evil whirly, the evil saber on. Let me see. I think there's a nicer one, an, a, a happier looking one. Yeah, it does the same. Okay. There! Ooh, I like that one! That one's pretty! Yeah, it's still called a light- it's- it, they're always called lightsabers. Hey, stuff. Yeah, I like this one. This one's pretty. This, uh, lightsaber, anyway. Why are you still here, then, if this container is empty? Okay. I definitely need to bring Bastila because she's got the extra heal as well. But I think that if we bring the Mandalorian, things should go a little better. Calling Well, that's what the game calls it. It's like container is empty. A true game. <laughs> look though. Oh, hey, look, we got it's container inventory. Backpack, container empty, nothing there. Corpse. Container is empty. Okay. I am a Jedi and I have seen the future a little bit and the future says, mission, this isn't a good mission for you. And the future also says that um, I need to spend money. Who's Eli Gand? Do I talk to Eli Gand for anything? Where's me ship? There's me ship. She's a beauty. She's a beauty. Oh wait, can I just, yeah. I need to save money to buy the companion? To buy the droid companion? Um, and now I, and now I leave, and I bring Bastila, and I bring Mandalorian, Candorous. Wait, no, oh, cancel. Okay, add. Okay. I mean, it's a very dichotomous configuration, but it's what I've got. What? what? Level up. Your skills. Uh, you're a healer, apparently, my dude. Sure. I mean, he heals himself. I I can believe it. Uh, he can wear heavy armor. 
I need him. Allows the character to make an extra ranged weapon attack during the round. Character suffer minus one to defense while using this feat for three seconds afterwards. No, geez, that's terrible. Um. Yeah, Candorus Ordo is a man. Yeah, he's the Mandalorian. Candorus is a terrible name. He's gonna betray you. The last man out of all healing me is someone whose name sounds like cancerous. <laughs> yeah, candy licious. Yum yum. Let's see. What's this one? A sniper shot. His feet triples the critical threat range of a ranged attack. If the attack hits, the target's also stunned for six seconds. Ooh, unless they make a fortitude save. The DC of the character's level plus the attack and character's intelligence modifier. I don't think Candorus's intelligence modifier is very high. His feet lowers defense by minus five. When used, improved sniper shot works with ranged weapons only. Ooh, hi, Subby! How's it going? You're right. You're, Subby, that's a good point. Candor is, is a very honest-sounding name, actually, when you think about it. Uh, that one's tempting. I'm gonna go with this one. Oh, okay. Add feet. Okay. Except... Uh, yep, his intelligence modifier is plus zero. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I shouldn't have given him that ability. <laughs> He's got a lot of strength and constitution and wisdom, but not intelligence. I just gave him an ability based on intelligence. I'm a dum dum. Subby, you've been here for a while. I'm. I am so sorry. I didn't see you. I am, I am actually trying to focus. This game is difficult. Okay, so this like, this gives my shock stuff, I think. Better, better stats. Maybe? So I've ever found increased neural band effectiveness with Increased neural band effectiveness with brute electrical force. Oh no, this is like a. Oh no, never mind. I'd rather have this right now. I think. Damage resistance. Sure. Oh hey, Subby. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my hands clean. Is uh, sonic damage not what they're- Ooh, wow, look at me! Oh, look at that guy from Star Trek. Okay. Where do I- Oh my gosh. Workbench. Lifesaber. Uh, upgrade with uh, the, the yellow crystal. I have yellow and red. I do, it's just, I think the color of the crystal is just pretty. Ooh. This crystal can be used. It gives me an attack bonus. It's the can do blah, 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 blah. Attack bonus one, attack bonus one. But this is keen. Special, the crystal is mined in the mountains of planets Mahali, and when used in lightsaber construction, it produces a volatile blade that can cause surprising amounts of damage. Crystal Sigil. This crystal is a costly but valued addition to his lightsaber. It produces a fiercely bright beam that steers on conflict uh, on contact, inflicting great damage. Sp damage bonus. Energy, 1d6. Wow. Okay. You're a Lamon. A Lamon. So, I don't know. Stonesmith. Stonesmith, you are, I don't know how you did it, but you're gonna win me this game with that piece of advice. Thank you. Hmm. So I'm gonna equip that one and this one. Assemble! Heck yeah. Yeah, this is the one that I have equipped. So. And then this is the one that she has equipped. Oh, she has these two equipped. 
right? Wait, what? Who else has a lightsaber equipped? Oh, um, okay. Our, the other girl, the one that we rescued who was starting to turn to this dark side. Oh, nice, Grammy! Sweeter. Sweeter. Uh, it's a Star Wars Saturday, didn't you know? Ooh, check the other lightsabers for crystals I can repurpose. Okay. Um, I guess how do I, uh, do that? It looks like all I can do right now is, um, upgrade. So that one's just got a power crystal. This one's just got a, oh, it's got a purple power crystal. <gasps> I want a purple one. Those don't have anything. Those don't have anything. Oh, uh, how do I unequip the crystals? I don't know how to do that. Swarter is the online game. It's Star Wars, uh, The Old Republic. And it's the MMO Star Wars game. But I, why would I want to, I guess I'll switch out for the red one because I want the purple one. Sure. Um... Balance two plus versus two weapon penalty if used in the offhand. Different focusing crystals can produce additional effects. But what are the what are the effects? It doesn't tell me. Blade color, red. Damage energy two to twelve. Damage energy 2 to 12, 19 to 20. Uh, damage 2 to 12, 19 to 20. Uh, yeah, that doesn't really seem to do anything. Uh, I'm going to assume these are the two that... Maybe, I don't know, maybe it's these two. I know for sure it's this one. That my girl, my pal is using, so... It looks like I only have a limited amount anyway. So there we go. That my pally is using. Crap. Okay. Um. Yes. Okay. Good. Ooh. Uh, what? I don't know that. Uh. I only have like one upgrade for all of these. Cool. It's fine. You can have them. I don't know what it does. What does it do? Who knows? Wow, increases damage, also increases damage, also increases damage. What was it before? Jeez, okay. Cool, that's all it does. Oh, bonus, da bon damage bonus one. Okay, cool. Assemble. Crystal color does nothing, it just makes him look nice, that's all. Okay, so we've upgraded his pistol, or no, that's like a repeating blaster. Uh, we've upgraded my lightsaber, we've upgraded, uh, Bernice's weapon, <laughs> whatever her name is. Um, save, good plan. I like this plan. Uh, upgrade my stuff. Okay. Okay. And we've given everybody their upgrades. Add Bastula. We're looking dope. We're looking pretty dope. Pretty fly. You, are you wearing... Yeah, good. He's wearing the pink armor. Excellent. Only a Mandalorian can truly pull off the pink armor. 
And we gotta go shopping. We gotta go shopping. We gotta get some grenades. We do have a cat person, but she doesn't speak in a growly language. Oh, what up? If you don't, if you if, if you didn't like the Wookies, listen to this. Need supplies. You gay. Wait, what? Oh, okay. You're here to purchase local species. So if we're here to purchase Wookies, we have to do that elsewhere. Weapons. You may browse it at your leisure. We got a sonic pistol, blaster cannon, plasma grenade, adhesive grenade. So this is entangles for 15 seconds. They cover the target area in a gooey bow. Adhesive that traps anyone caught in the effect. It quickly degrades, allowing allies to soon pass unhindered. So this would affect my allies as well. The grenades release a burst of incendiary agent that ignites immediately, damaging all enemies within the area of effect. What is that? <laughs> he came back. I, I can't remember what species it is. The cat person is voiced by Jack. Yeah, no, he's a bit of an a-hole. He's the guy, he's, 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 he's into the slaving operations that are in the area. Cryoban, ooh. DC 15 for half damage negates the paralyzation. Cryoban grenade releases a super cooled liquid that freezes on contact, causing intense pain and damage to victims caught in the effect. I like those. They are one of the cheaper ones. If I looked like that, I'd be an asshole too. What? I like that they have all the different languages and the species. I like space stuff because I like different alien species. Like, I get really bored of sci-fi that's only got, like, bad aliens and, like, no aliens. I'm like, give me sci-fi that's got a crap ton of different aliens. I love it. Uh, see if I can sell stuff I don't need, like, like, like the personal mines. Maybe I'll try to buy some repair kits, too. I'll sell the clothing. Long sword. I have two bow casters. I only need one. Uh, disruptor rifle. Blah 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 blah. Minor frag mine. Sure. Dura steel ally bonding. Don't know what that does. Do I need these droid parts? I have a flame. Oh, the flamethrower. Okay, the flamethrower are for the S for upgrading my droid. Okay. Look, like I have a flamethrower. Mesh underbelly. Could I upgrade my armor? I don't have. I don't think I have a, a workbench that can do that yet. You like stars and constellations and stuff, but sci-fi is really your thing. I haven't figured out why yet. Interesting, Lemon Z. I don't know. A lot of old sci-fi I felt was boring. I felt like it was like some old white guy or like some middle-aged white guy having an existential crisis every time. And the woman was always just this tangential thing. And I tend, I, however you say that, just like some extra who was there and it was boring. And it was always about like, it always felt very colonialist, you know, like, oh, I'm better than these aliens or, oh, these insect aliens. Like during the Cold War and stuff, it was always insect alien invasions. I'm like, do you guys not understand that I don't want to kill the aliens? I want to bang the aliens. Like, when? When will you give me this? And only Mass Effect has fulfilled that need. I love a lot of new star or a lot of new sci-fi. I keep buying new sci-fi books because they've got like LGBTQ people and they've got like women who are awesome and flawed and cool and they have guys who are flawed and cool and they just have a variety of aliens that you can bang and it's great. Old sci-fi, I'm not super into. New sci-fi, I very love. I very, very love. No, Lemonzy, you can't reject the idea of banging aliens. What is wrong with you? All these video games are better than TV where the aliens are people with plastic stuck to them. Yeah. Who knows if you have compatible genitals? That's half the fun. 
Universal peace through banging. That's that's the that's the philosophy I live by. No, Lemon Z. Lemon Z, you're not you are you're a coward, Lemon Z. That's what you are. <laughs> you're 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 you need to you need to, you need to tough it up. <laughs> okay, I think I've sold what I can. I I honestly don't know. I was hoping Rain might tell me. Holy cow, poison grenades. Um Sonic grenades, blah, frag grenades, concussive grenades. These ones are cheaper. That forces the, the uh, force that disrupts the senses of both organic and inorganic. Frag grenade, they're very basic. They explode and thrown, showering the enemy in a shrapnel. Uh, Sonic is only good for. Uh, oh no, Ion's good for droids. Hello, official. How's it going? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't have to reproduce. Don't judge me. You're... I am, but this is not something that I'm prudish about. Bang the aliens. 2019. <laughs> Hello, fly. Flyery? Flyery. How's it going? Welcome to this. Welcome just in time to hear us talking about banging aliens. Welcome, Star Wars. It's great. It's great. <laughs> I want to get some of these. Rain, should I get some of these? I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some of these. I'm gonna get like three of them. And I want to get how much are the poison grenades? They're expensive. I'm gonna get some frag grenades. Three, four, five. Cryo band's good? Okay. You expected a General Kenobi answer? <laughs> no! <laughs> I'm a, I'm a monster. Um, I'm a, um, I can't say that word. And I'm not a furry. <laughs> I find the idea of banging animals slightly odd. I don't judge too much. But uh, I find the idea of, uh, of uh, anthropomorphized animals a bit odd. Okay. Save again. Who are modeled off of hallucinogenic toads, but they're not hallucinogenic toads! They're not! Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Uh, they are their own species! And if you make them all look like humans, it gets boring. You gotta, you gotta get creative. You gotta get creative. Uh, you know what though? You know, yes I would have sex with a robot! Legion! Legion is my husband! Oh shoot, I didn't do that? What? Oh, are you guys just- where are you? Bastila? Where frig are you, Bastila? I am playing your most favorite game of all time. It has been a while since I've played this. There you are. Thanks for coming, Bastila. Um, also, we just got our crap kicked in. And at that semi-awkward cutoff, I'm gonna leave you all here, wondering exactly what that whole conversation was about. Anyway, <laughs> we talked about some funny things on Twitch. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you tune in for next time for the conclusion of this rather odd discussion, which I swear doesn't take up a huge amount of time, but it's, uh, I left it in because I thought it was funny. So, yeah, thank you all for watching again, and I hope to see you in the next one.